Welcome! In this video I will show you one simple example how we can create a database mirroring across remote servers. What is the database mirroring? Database mirroring is a solution for increasing availability of a SQL Server database. It's, uh, it's only work on database that have a full recovery model and you should memorize this because it's very important. One more thing you should pay attention is that Microsoft plans to remove database mirroring option in future version of Microsoft SQL Server. So I suggest you that uh, it's, it's much better if you use always on availability group. Also suggest you that uh, DBS should avoid to deploy database mirroring on future project and to try to modify already existing pro existing project uh, convert from from a database mirroring to, to always on availability group i just want to tell you that i'm using a vmware workstation for this example also i have three virtual server with different windows two of them i have 2012 one is 2008 also, I have SQL Server 2012 Enterprise Edition on all servers, and I have work group, and also have the main and the main user. And why is that important? It's important because you need the, for for uh, creating a mirroring, you need to have the same domain user on your Microsoft SQL Server service. You can see here it's. It's the same domain user on all free uh, virtual machine for uh, this SQL Server service. You can see here and the third one, it's the same on all user. Uh, I, I'm using this to uh, show it some error. You can create uh, a mirroring on the same machine, same server with different instances. But it's much easier this way if you have a domain account. Also, it's very important to pay attention on, on your ports or firewall. You should open your ports uh, for, for uh, creating a database mirroring. And uh, for this example, when I have three different servers, it's the same port. But if you have uh, on, the, on the one server three different instances, for example, for for principal, for, for uh, mirror server, for witness server, for example, you will have different ports. Okay, let's get started. I have one database here, Adventure World 2012, and I will create a database mirroring from this server, server 1 to server 2 as a mirror server, and uh, server 3 as a witness server. Okay, as we said at the beginning of this video, it's very important to check if uh, if your database have a full recovery model, and if it's not the case, you should change it. First thing we should do is to make a backup, full backup, and backup and transaction log of our uh, principal database, principal server, and uh, just to, to restore on our mirror server. And we will do this. Just backup. It's a full backup, and uh, I will save my file in the one other map. Okay, it's backup DB. Okay, I'll use the same name. It's backup DB. Okay, okay. I will remove this one. Just confirm that. Okay. Uh, we created full backup. Now we'll create a transaction log backup. Just transaction log. Also, okay, the same theorem. Okay, confirm that, and everything is already created. We have both full and transaction log backup in our backup DB backup db map as you can see here okay we will we'll copy this and uh, i will use i will use my shared map and just paste it here and then go to another server go to another server and restore my database just a second copy from shared map ok 
Okay. This PC and I think I have one up here. I'll delete this and put another one, new one. Paste. And okay, we have uh, we have our full backup and structure log backup, and now we restore our database on the server two. And uh, use device. Okay. We have our file here, and okay, confirm that. And uh, one more thing, it's very important. Uh, you should choose here recovery state. It's uh, it's very important, and you should pay attention. You should choose restore with no recovery. No recovery option is critical for this step because the database needs to be able to apply additional transaction log uh, as a part of mirroring process. So it's very important to to, to put recovery state to uh, with no recovery. Now we can confirm our database restore okay everything seems fine we'll do the next now I'll connect all my free virtual machine here server 2 server 2 okay I, I use uh, as you can see I use the same domain user and I'll connect also server free here just to be easier to show you what's happening during the creating uh, mirroring now we will start with creating our, our uh, mirroring across those two servers so first of all we should configure our security and uh, we have the first option include witness server if you try to create mirroring with uh, automatic option uh, to fail over on from principal to mirror server, you should have witness server, and it's only only solution uh, to have automatic uh, failover option in mirroring is if you have another server for witness. In this example, I will use witness server instance, so we can continue further. It's an option where you want to choose where to save uh, security configuration and just next and now we, we create our principal, our, wit our mirror server and our wit witness server first will be our principal server and uh, as you can see it's uh, for listening port and end name it's mirroring, I will use the same for all, of, all three servers so second server will be our uh, mirror server and as you can see you should uh, use again uh, the main account if you're using uh, as uh, the main user for, for creating this mirroring as I'm using here in this example and of course next and we have server free as a witness server and also connect again to with the same domain user and as you can see endpoint is mirroring for all three of them so uh, for this option here it's very important if you have uh, as you can see here uh, it's uh, written down. You can, if you have the main user, you should write the main user. Uh, in any other case, you should leave empty. Next. And now we configure our endpoints on each server. And I'll show you later those endpoints. So, just a second. Close. And we have a question now. Uh, do you want to start mirroring now or no? We will start mirroring immediately. Okay. As you can see here, it's status for synchronizing and already synchronized. So, uh, okay. You can see here uh, where we have our principal server and principal database. It's Adventure Work uh, 2012, and another one is a mirror server, and you see it's a mirror database, and it already synchronized, and it's also in restoring mode, which is okay. And the next one, the third one, is our witness server, and under the server objects you have database mirroring, mirroring endpoint, 
and you should have this on all three server as you can see and third one it's pretty much the same and uh, I'll show you what the mirroring means first of all we have our database here is our principal database and our mirror database and our witness server here huh? and if uh, accidentally this database uh, for example won't work uh, from any reason for example if I stop uh, this instance here what will happen okay I'll stop also agent what will happen now you'll see this is our mirror at the beginning it was our mirror database our mirror server but if we refresh now this you'll see because we have uh, a witness and we have automatic failover you'll see that this database become principal as you, as you can see uh, it uh, you should just uh, for example redirect your application to this database here and everything will work uh, that this server here and everything will work and you will see now you will see now what will happen if you now start again uh, our uh, instance SQL server instance here just a second okay if we refresh our database you will see that that database here become a mirror database and this server is a mirror server and uh, if you want to change uh, uh, like it was at the beginning of, of uh, creating our mirroring uh, in, in you want that to be a principal server and that the mirror server it's very easy you just go to the mirror option and uh, just fill over your mirror server you know and you will get the principal up here on the first one and just a second you can see that mirror server or mirror mirror database here is here on the second one uh, it, where was at the beginning of creating our mirroring also you have database mirroring monitor it's a part of uh, database mirroring and the part of uh, SQL Server Management Studio and you can uh, run it uh, if you go on your database and task and, and launch database mirroring monitor and you can see here we have server 2, server 1 and you can see uh, what is the current role for those server which one is the principal, which one is the mirror and uh, you can see mirroring state and the uh, witness connection everything seems fine and uh, you can see here also uh, uh, witness address and the port which are using so as I said before at the beginning of this video uh, you c could have a problem with your firewall and also uh, you can have problem if you're using one instance for one server for three different instances for for free principal for mirror and for witness so this is a fully qualified domain name here and uh, I'm using domain account for all three SQL server instances so I do not have any problems creating this uh, mirroring option also I should mention if uh, have any warnings you can see uh, any any error or you can simply see any information for troubleshooting uh, for example cause of reduce uh, data flow or something like that uh, since uh, database mirroring monitor also helps uh, in verifying uh, uh, database mirroring configuration to see if uh, condition is good or not and to see and control database mirroring session it's very useful it's very useful for for troubleshooting any database mirroring problem and uh, in this video we talked about uh, how you can create database mirroring and uh, how you can create uh, using uh, uh, the main account and using three different server principal uh, mirror and the witness server uh, what you should pay attention during the the implementation of this uh, mirroring option and also as I said at the beginning of this video you should be uh, very careful using uh, this uh, mirroring option since uh, Microsoft uh, uh, 
plans to remove database mirroring, mirroring option in future versions of Microsoft SQL Server. And that will be all, and thank you for watching.